Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to increase your Squarespace website's visibility to search engines in three easy steps. So before we begin, I do want to remind you that all of Squarespace's websites are already optimized for search engines by default. Um, so that means that, you know, whether you're using a search engine like Google or Yahoo or Bing or like, well, any of the other less popular ones out there, Squarespace already has you covered to make sure that they're going to be receptive to those search engines. But that being said, there are a couple of easy tweaks that you can do to make sure that you are getting the most out of your settings and that your site is getting in front of as many people as possible. So these are all really easy changes that you can make. They're very quick as well. You could pretty much do them as we're working through the video here. So I don't really see why you wouldn't do them. So let's get started and I'm going to show you using a demo here that I've got. So this is just one of those free Squarespace um, demo sites that I've created. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be working off of the Harris template here. So I've created a fake law firm website. So Lottie Legal LLP, because my nickname is Lottie and I mean, who doesn't love a good bit of alliteration, right? So I've got this fake law firm website set up here and I'm going to show you the ways that we can update um, for search engine visibility right here. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to edit the site's description. So this is a very quick way that you can provide a short bio or overview of your site. And a quick word of the wise though is that certain templates, including five, which is a very popular Squarespace template, will display the site description. So this is something to keep in mind because you may or may not want it to display. Uh, most of them, however, do not display the site description. So you can pretty much go ahead and work with it no problem. All right, so to do this, to get the site description up and running is very simple. So from the home page here, when you're logged in, you're gonna click on the settings tab, and then you're gonna go down here to basic information. And then for site type, um, you can select one from the drop down menu. And since I'm doing a fake law firm, I'm gonna keep it to business. And then within the site description field, this is where you can add one or two really quick sentences to give an overview of what your website is about. So I've got a really simple thing here. So I've put that in and then once I'm done, I'm gonna click save. And then there we go, that's step one. So another one that we're gonna do is step two, which is updating the SEO descriptions. And this is again, really easy to, and a pretty similar process that we're gonna do, but it's in a different field. So we're gonna go back to the home menu here. And this time around, we're gonna go to the settings tab. And then we're gonna scroll down to where it says SEO. All right, so then the first thing we're gonna do is update the search engine description here. So again, this is where you can put a one or two quick sentence overview of what your website is about. But in this case, this is the section that is gonna be showing up within the search results on fields like Google or Yahoo or Bing. So when your name of you know, Lottie Legal LLP shows up in search results, the little text that shows up below it that gives a description comes from this section of the settings here. So, you know, I can keep it really simple and just use the exact same thing I put in the site description, or you can mix it up a little bit more depending on how you want. All right, so once I've got that part done, I'm gonna click save, and then there we go. There's step number two, very easy. All right, next up, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that all of the specific pages on our website are also on the search engine's radar as well. So we're gonna go through and I'll show you an example using the about page. So to do this, we're gonna to go to pages now, and then I'm gonna show you on the about page. So to open up the page settings, you click on the little gear here, and this is where the page settings are gonna come up. So I wanna draw your attention to the two fields here, which are navigation title and page title. All right, so there's a difference between what these two are, and I wanna point that out. So first of all, the navigation title field, this is what's gonna show up on like the menu bar of your page. So at the top of the page where it says like, home, about, contact, blog, uh, services, things like that. So you wanna keep the navigation title really simple. However, you have a little bit more freedom here on the page title, 
And this is where you can play around to be a bit more descriptive and make sure that it's what shows up at the top of the browser window. So by filling this out to be a little bit beefier, if you want to call it that, um, will be really helpful to users and also to search engines. All right, and then down below as well as we've got the description field. So this, I want to point out as well that this is optional to fill out because as it says here, some templates will display the page description in the header, um, whereas others will not. So in the case of the Harris template, I'm going to show you just a really you know easy little thing because it does show up on the header page. So let's just go blah, 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 whatever. Cool. <laughs> you got the idea, right? And, um, you know, of course you would want to put this a little bit more descriptively, but I'm just going to show you how it's going to display here. All right. So once I've clicked save on the Harris template, you can see that this section is coming up here on the header. So it's kind of in the banner section here above like the content of the page, which if you've noticed, I've filled it in with a cupcake lorem ipsum just to, you know, <laughs> keep it a little fun. So in this case, you know, I, maybe I don't really want that. Like, unless I have an image in the background, I don't think I'm really that into it. So um, I'm gonna go back in and edit that in the page index. So I would again, just click the little gear and then open it up here and then delete that content from the description. But if I do want it there, that's where you fill it out. Um, that being said, as I mentioned before, the page description does not appear on all templates. So if you know, you're using a different template, you might want to fill out the page description because it will not necessarily affect how it displays on the front end. All right, so once that's done, I'm going to click save and you can see that the changes have been applied there and it looks good. So there you have it. Those are three really simple ways you can increase your Squarespace website's visibility to search engines. And if you haven't already done those, I definitely encourage you to go through and do them today. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it showed you a few easy ways you can tweak your Squarespace website to get it to show up a little better for search engines. Um, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up or you can even leave a comment below and hit the red subscribe button below the video too. You can also check out my website, which is charlotteohara.ca and I've got lots more content and tutorials on my website all about things like Squarespace, web design and development, tech tips, um, and lots more. I also have an entire series on Squarespace SEO. So if you're on my site, be sure, be sure to look that up because it's really thorough there. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.